bolt right now. All I'm trying to do is make sure I don't pull something in my oval. All right, and as you get older, it's, it's important, all right, because like I said, nobody goes out, you, you don't go out to 150 feet and chuck your first ball. So what I'm trying to do is just keep my eyes on the baseball, making sure everything is on the ground. Start, you know, the other way. That's, the, that's important that he says talk about, but he's trying to get it on the ground. He's a power hitter, too. Yeah, you can hit it one way up, but in these type of things, the last thing you want to try to do is start down to up. You want to go up to down, right? Right. I, I have a natural loop in my swing, so I can get the ball in the air naturally. That doesn't mean he's looping. I just says he just says he has a natural loop in his swing. Yeah. <laughs> that means I can just I can drive the ball naturally. <laughs> but he is a little loopy. I am. Yeah. Well, all all I'm really trying to do up the tee is. I just want to make sure that everything is just nice and effortless. I don't want I want to control my effort when I get up the tee. And I'm just looking on the inside part of the seam and just trying to stay through it. The more I can stay through the baseball, get my energy going that way, the better the better room for air because in hitting it's really just all about how much room for air I can create. So I can hit a fastball here, 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 here. And then once I get out here, I'm starting to hit off speed, and I just kind of keep going through. You've probably seen video of me where I'm pretty much out front of my foot, and I'm able to just keep staying through a, a pitch. So extension for me and be able to create yeah, The plate right. coverage for him is just really, really impressive. What are you looking at when tee batting for the little guys as far as instead of just getting, you know, like just swinging at the ball, right. is there a particular spot that you're you're really trying to hit? Yeah, so I like to put a four, like you're doing right now, I like to put it on a four seam. Because that's Listen up, this is important. That's what I'm going to see a lot. I think a lot of times young kids, they just come up and they, they kind of put the ball up like that. Since I was, since I can remember, I mean, since I was probably 12 years old, I've taken the ball put it on there like that because that's what I'm going to see at the dish. So my eyes need to get used to seeing this and where I'm picking up my spot. So I pick out my spot and I set it right here on this inside seam. And when I do that, it allows me to stay inside the baseball consistently. So this is what I'm talking about. We've taken one, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, ten balls, whatever. My focus, even in these balls, I, I, I don't want to throw away. Even though I'm, we're just, I'm just teaching you guys here, I don't want to throw away these swings. So whatever you do when you step up here, if you just get up there and just swing, and you just when you say, Dad, I did 100 swings today, that doesn't really matter. You, know, you just kind of waste the swings. But if I can take 10, 15 swings where I'm absolutely honed in on what I want to do, and I'm okay with it. Um, as far as with, with this type of tool, do you try to sometimes, you know, move it down and you're trying to do different places of where you're hitting? Yeah, there's there's a lot of good drills I like to do with the tee. Um, to, if, if you've got a really long swing, this is one that was taught to me really early was I'm tall, so I'm going to put the ball really high, but I like to put the ball chest high, and I'll get on top of the ball. So there's no way for me to go this way to the ball or this way. I have to go directly to the ball, and it's going to look ugly. But the end result is getting inside. Right. Um, another one I like to do is just keep it in the inside inside part of the plate and this allows me to you see a lot of kids want to pull the ball when they're young and like I said that's a factor of the barrel getting out and around the baseball and so if we can stay through as long as we can I want to take this inside pitch and instead of working around and hitting it that way I want to be able to hit it to center field to right field so the balls on the inside part of my foot I want to be able to drive it back up the middle. That's going to allow me to. That's that's this is what Miguel Cabrera does oh. better than anybody. That's why he's one of the best in the game. Is he can actually take this pitch right here, a 95 mile fastball, and hit it out to center.
And when he does that, then the pitcher really doesn't know what to do because if you do it here, he's just going to hit it out to right. If you throw him a slider, he's just going to hit it out to left. If you throw him a curveball, he's going to do the same thing. If you come into him, he's going to hit it out to center. So if you don't, my goal growing up was I didn't want to be a one-dimensional hitter. I didn't want to be able to just pull the ball. And that's what has allowed me to have success in the big leagues is I can hit the ball all over the yard. With this training compared to some of the other stuff that you do and, and, and team training where you need to do drills a little quicker and, and next station, you kind of really methodical about this yeah. here. So I mean, maybe it's important for them to understand that, you know, it's important to kind of, like you said, practice perfectly or properly instead of trying to get out there and make all these crazy swings. There's a lot of thought process just to what he's doing here. And, and what's the constant thing here that you see? How many people are out there? <laughs> Just, uh, I used to take this and go to a park and, and with a bag of balls when I was a teenager and just hit off the fence. So you got a lot of work in, you know, by, by yourself or definitely if you have a partner, you can do it a lot swifter. But th this is the beauty of the game of baseball that you can actually, there's there are certain aspects of it that you can practice by yourself. That was the beauty for me when I was young is my dad told me I could be as good as I wanted to be. So he never forced me to be anything that I didn't want to be. And I took it upon myself to one year work at baseball. I wanted to do something with baseball. 363 days a year, I took Christmas and Easter off. <laughs> um, and sometimes he was out there with me, helped me. A lot of the times he was out there. But if you're gonna work out for baseball 363 days a year, there's a lot of days where it was just me. And so it was really just as simple as, I had the tee, and when I was growing up, I had a sock net in front of me, and I would just groove my swing. And so I could pick up the ball and do it over and over again in my garage. And that's really, that's how it started. But um, everything that I did at a young age, my dad implemented in me was, there's no need to rush through things. If you're gonna do it, you know, I was raised in a, in a Christian family that would do it all for the glory of God. And so uh, I didn't want to just come out here and swing to swing, like I've been kind of saying. I, I wanted to analyze and um, get better at something. So every every swing I approached was, um, you know, what am I trying to accomplish right now? Okay, I'm going out to hit in the garage. Yeah, I'm going to work on this drill right here instead of just, all right, rushing through, rushing through. So I take my time and I get my setup We'll put my foot down and make sure it's almost like I'm in the box. And that way, when the game's on the line, I've done it a thousand times. <laughs> you guys have any questions? You want to want to try to cycle through some of these guys? Oh, some man, of the pistons? Awesome. Yeah. Maybe uh, do four or five swings each and uh, see what O has to say.